everyone and welcome to Nicole's Untold Gold. Today I'm actually just going to show you around my showroom and the finished pieces that I do have and we're just gonna do that for one. That was a lot of requests on the last video so thank you for those and I will show you guys what I all have done. Before I arrange everything so that you can see everything I'm going to show you the secretary that I had shown in previous videos that I was gonna work on, I did and I finished her up, so here she is. Look at how pretty this gorgeous girl is. Uh, it does have the key, so everything locks. No. I got everything pretty much set up and now we can take a little tour and I'll tell you a little bit about each piece. Everything that will be viewed today is for sale, but I only sell pieces to people that are local or within a couple hours that are willing to come pick up because I'm not, I'm not doing shipping at this time. So just keep that in mind. So starting out, we have these two cute little nightstands. They're done in a distressed black and then they have a natural wood top. Um, they work really well. They're really, really beautiful pieces. They also have some natural feet on them. It used to be a desk and it has been converted into nightstands because that is a more useful thing. Now we have this bar table set. I know if you haven't seen the YouTube video of me doing this set, it's a couple back and you should go take a look but this guy is still available very pretty has a weathered walnut stained top distressed white bottom three stools very cute next we have this beautiful bench slash hall tree which also has its own youtube video of chet and i building it has two old doors that we repurposed and made into this bench and we built this from scratch and it has some storage underneath for crates or shoes or whatever you want and it has a walnut stained shiplap seat it's like a light grayish with a tinge of blue in it next we have this cute chair done in a white with a black lace so you see how there's all that black in all the details and it makes it pop that is a black glaze and how it gives the white a smoky but it's still obviously white that is a black glaze they are not easy to do but they are very fun and then it has a recovered faux leather seat and then of course this beauty, which is one of the latest YouTube videos up. This gorgeous Ford tailgate obviously is old and it has seen some better days, but now it is a beautiful bench. And I, I just recommend, cause there's these rust holes um, on both sides. I recommend that it doesn't go to a family with small children because I would hate for a little kid to get their hand in there and um, injure themselves and there was no way of making that be safer but yet still have the same aesthetic and it look good so we're just putting it out there that we are not to blame for any injuries and then i did a two stain look on the boards here a walnut and a weathered gray so i did them so that it does not look brand new and it doesn't in the video it doesn't totally capture the colors of everything but this beautiful bench is gorgeous and still available next we have these two gray very small hutches i recovered the backs with a faux marble look to them. There is super fun, cute little set here. Would be great to put together or I'll separate and put on either sides of a TV. You know, there's, there's multiple options. And the bottoms open as well. 
Those cute little guys. I've had those for a long time in my storage shed and I finally redid them and very happy with how they turned out. And then there's that secretary. And the reason that I showed you a video earlier before I arranged everything is because I knew I would have to put stuff in front of it. So there's that. Next we have this cute purple guy, which I love. I love some color. I like different things. I don't like everything to be white or gray. Very pretty crystal knobs. This also has a black glaze on it. So it actually glorifies all of the dings and marks in it that show that it is a old, beautiful piece. Another sign is, you guessed it, dovetail. Dovetail drawers, meaning it's an oldie and a goodie. Next we have these two side tables, or end tables, whatever you would like to call them. They are done in a light gray with a, this one, this, so this is a black glaze again, but the difference is, is that this one was applied to only the details, so it didn't change the color of the gray. This is harder to do than the other one, but I just really wanted it to only be in all the details. Um, they have claw feet. Well, it's claw ball feet. And actually, I replaced it with plexiglass, so you don't gotta worry about your kids setting something down too hard and it breaking the glass. These guys are very cute, very fun set. And, if you haven't noticed already, I like literally a little bit of everything. This is a mid-century modern buffet type of piece. Um, both of these open and there's a shelf in there. This was done with three different washes and a stain to get this really weathered, what looks like original wood piece, but it is not because it has not obviously sat outside and weathered for 20 years. In the picture, it obviously looks blotchier because it, in videos and pictures, it picks up more of the saturation than it actually is in person. And this piece, uh, especially, it's blended a lot better than it looks in the video. So put it that way. Next, we have this cute little, little dresser. Super cute, it would be great for a little kid's room or if you needed just a little storage in a craft room. Um, some rubbed oil bronze handles and a medium, I don't know what, what this color was, but it's kind of a walnut-y, light walnut color. Stained top, cute little feller. And next we have this blush and dark walnut type stained dresser. This guy's an oldie and this is an often situation where when they made claw feet. They made them in little, you know, sections at a time and then they glued them all together and over time they will bust off and then you don't have a claw foot anymore. You have the side of a claw foot but not the front. Um, there's not really anything you can do unless you have the piece and the pieces didn't come with this guy. These drawers are the original stain that was on them. I did not do anything to the drawers. I left them the way that they are because I just liked it. It's it gives it more of an imperfect kind of a look. And then there's this guy, which this guy has a YouTube video too about him. It is a ombre to white teal with this super fun floral transfer and then some natural wood feet with gold caps and gold handles. Uh, the handles are original to the piece and I just love it. I love everything about it. I love how if you look super close, you can see some white speckles in the blue. Once again, this makes it look like there's a cut line, but it's actually beautifully faded through. Next, we have this beautiful. I love mustard. This is more of a gold mustard. It's um, a darker color. And this actually used to be a headboard and footboard that we cut the footboard in half and put it on there, made it a bench. Um, it's a way to use old headboards and footboards without throwing them away. This guy also has a walnut shiplap stained seat. If you haven't guessed already, I'm a big fan of either natural or dark stains. That's just personal preference. And this one has a brown glaze, so you can see the lines there, um, it sticks into all the little crevices and nooks and this is a super cute piece which also would be great for needing underneath storage for shoes or crates for gloves and hats or really anything you can think of. 
So this guy was built by us as well. There's that pretty guy. Then we have this little table. Cute little guy, antique white, um, distressed. So you can see all the molding, the original poles on it, and a natural top. It has two different colors because this actually is a veneer. It is real wood, but it is a veneer wood. And this is the wood that is underneath it. The veneer was in really good shape. Not ripping it off, just so that it's the same color. And this guy has a shelf too. Moving right along, we have this gorgeous red. It's like a deep royal, I got dust all over it. Red <laughs> um, with a black glaze on it. So you can see how the wood grain, you see how the black glaze sticks into it. So you can see this really pretty effect that goes on. These are the original handles. So the gold and this top is one of my favorites maybe ever. I love the wood grain. It's so gorgeous, smooth as butter and dark walnut, of course. If you haven't noticed all of the pictures and stuff that I have on my walls, those I keep for staging, you know, as you can see all this stuff that's on them. These guys are stacked on top of each other because, well, simply I don't have enough room. This is actually the same gray as those two side tables earlier. The idea is so that if someone wanted both, they would match, but this has a really light brown stained top. And this piece underneath is the original color. The sides actually pull out so that it becomes longer in the middle section. It becomes longer about, you know, not, not a whole lot on each side. Those are those two little coffee tables. And now we have this cute bench. So story with this guy, it was given to me because the person was going to throw it away and it used to be a dresser. I ripped it apart. Um, I did this one by myself. I ripped it apart, built a frame. This is all reclaimed cedar. Uh, it's so pretty. I love this wood. We don't have a whole lot of it left, but I do love this wood. And then I just put a shiplap seat. So it has two different colors of wood going on, but you can see how it pulls out the dark colors in this reclaimed stuff. It's gorgeous. And it has a drawer underneath it too. That works. So, and here's the first YouTube video I made for this channel. This really beautiful curved glass curio cabinet. I stripped it all down and did a just natural. It is natural, it's all just been sealed with polyurethane. And the inside, I kept the actual color that it was because it was in such good shape that I just sealed her up and she is good to go. Also a super cool thing is when you find the pieces that actually have the keys and they work. Like, it's amazing. Love this piece and I cannot wait for her to find a home. And then we have this cute guy. So this one is a chippy piece. I purposefully made it to try to look like it's a very, very old piece. So it, I painted it this green color and then I painted this cream color. This wood color is the original color that it was. All the chippy. The original handles. Um, this is such a, such a cute piece. These legs are amazing. Some of my favorites are the bubble legs. And of course, dovetail drawers. This one does come with a mirror. I just took it off for a different picture because I restaged when they haven't sold for a while. I will restage them. So the mirror does come with it, but if you don't want it, you don't have to have it. And last but not least, I did a very short clip on this one. It's a very little bench that's done in a deep green with a black glaze and some ball claw foot feet. And of course, a walnut stained top. And it has inside storage for whatever you need. Cute little guy, could be used as a very small TV entertainment center as well. That is all of my finished pieces in here. I love my showroom. This is was a long time coming when we finally did this and I absolutely love it. I'll show you ceiling too, cause it's so pretty. So if you guys enjoyed this video and have more suggestions for other videos, please leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel. I do add a little bit of everything. This one is just about the finished furniture that I have that is currently for sale. Uh, once again, 
I only sell to local people or within a couple hours of me. So if you're out of state or stuff like that, I can't do anything about that because I currently do not ship. Thank you for your time and have a fantastic day. Bye.